guys and welcome back to my channel are you ready to journey to the upside down because today we are going to draw max mayfield from stranger things season four hey guys it's future jill and i'm just gonna be honest right now i filmed this video in august of 2022 so like last year and i just started editing I'm gonna try to explain. Basically, after summer of 2022, high school hit, I was really busy and I sort of like prioritized other videos that I like already uploaded. And I sort of just forgot about this little video that I made, but I still really, really wanna like edit it and show it to y'all. So I'm very late on my editing. I apologize for that. And I hope that this will never happen again. I can't promise that, but like I'll try to prevent this from happening again because this is very it's kind of embarrassing so yeah so if i say things like last year or last summer or last month just like keep in mind that it was filmed in 2022 just wanted to clarify that and i still hope you enjoy this video nonetheless spoilers alert this video contains a lot of spoilers so watch at your own risk first of all we're drawing max mayfield today so i am actually kind of like dressing up as max this is like the closest thing to like an 80s outfit like a max outfit that i that i can find so i'm literally wearing this shirt upside down while i draw the pencil sketch let me tell you how and why i started watching stranger things and by the way this is the picture that i'm going to use to draw max because it's it's one that she's smiley in i think it's behind the scenes maybe so i actually started watching stranger things last summer vacation around this time last year it's the second ever tv show that i've ever watched the fun thing is i actually finished season four this year at sanya when me and my family are on a trip in sanya as well Sanya is a special place for strange things to happen. Last year, 2021, because I loved the show so much, I decided to draw my favorite favorite character then, Eleven. So this is the character art that I drew for Eleven. Since season 4 is out this year and I watched it, I'm going to comment on this season as a whole. So, as many people say, this season is definitely one of the best. The structure of the season is like so complex and shifts as the story goes, but it's also always so clear to me. So it's really good writing because even though so many things are happening at once, especially volume 2, from different places, different characters. It's always so clear what's happening, the chronological order, what's going on. And for me, I actually always really like to see my favorite characters in a movie or show all working together. Because when characters start working in different ways or going to different paths on the same journey, I just get really, really anxious. And this season does exactly that to separate the characters into groups. If I were to summarize the structure, there are like four main groups that we're focusing on. The kids in Hawkins, kids in California, Joyce and Murray trying to find Hopper, um, and Eleven alone, like poor Eleven, separated from all her friends. Despite me liking characters working together, I actually like the structure because even though I want to see certain characters being together and working together, it all came together in the end and are all so connected like ultimately <laughs> now that i talked you through with my idea on the whole picture of this season i'm gonna tell you a really funny thing so basically i just hate jump scares so when we're um watching the show i can't be facing the screen so so basically i can't be facing the ipad screen like this i must be facing it like this so that if something scary appears i won't be that terrified since it's not just coming out in front of my face i've been brainwashed by no time to die this entire day
So now let's finally talk about what we're actually drawing. Max Mayfield. And I'm also gonna talk about some other characters. But first, let's call, talk about Max. My favorite character from Stranger Things before watching season four are Eleven and Joyce. In the first three seasons, like Eleven was so mis mysterious and innocent and also super cool in the second season. And Joyce is so smart. She's, I'm, I swear, Joyce is the smartest character in the whole show. Joyce is so smart and brave and caring, but both of them are pretty distant from everyone else in this season. One training for superpowers alone and one trying to find Hopper back. So I think for this reason, other characters are really standing out for me and one of them is certainly Max. I am so sorry to say this, but actually I did not really like Max at first in season two. But like as season two progressed and season three happened, Max got into the Hawkins kids group more, so she got nicer. So I did not like dislike her that much anymore. And I started to like her. I didn't really like feel for uh, Max or anything or like care that much in the first three seasons. But in this season, I can actually like feel for her and understand what she's going through. And her courage really stands out in this season. Having to do with so many things like in her, in her past, like Billy and stuff. And being so calm when she found out that she was a target of Vecna's. Willing to like give herself to Vecna for their like ultimate plan to work to catch Vecna so I think she is just such a brave and selfless person in the end and she also has a pretty important character arc in this film because at first when we see Max for the first time she's gloomy, she's grumpy, she's upset, she's dealing with trauma and she's not opening up to anyone and that really made her depressed because she's not talking to anyone really about this whole Billy thing and we can see from the first episode that when Lucas tried to talk to her to like comfort her she doesn't want to talk to him she pretends that it's okay and that he's being annoying actually and when she's seeing her like counselor she is also not opening up and after she actually met Vecna in that world and like gone through all those stuff like at the end of episode 4, like Dear Billy, that's my favorite episode by the way. When she was like kind of tortured by Vecna at first, she realized how important her friends are in her life and how happy memories are so important. So that was the lesson she learned that her friends will always be oh. there. I love how Stranger Things is a lot about friendship, you know? Where is my light walnut? One of the key things that saved um, Max from Vecna is music and Kate Bush running at the hill, you know? This made me think, what song would save me from Vecna? My top three, I guess, my top three favorite songs are Unstoppable by Sia, Moon River, Audrey, and My Heart Will Go On. I don't know which can save me from Vecna because I think it's really nice for the song to be a motivational song so that when I'm running from him, I can like run and have a lot of energy and motivation and stuff. So Unstoppable will definitely fit. But like Moon River can talk about like friendship and stuff, like Huckleberry Friend, you know, focuses on like more emotions. And My Heart Will Go On is like really epic and iconic. I have no idea, okay? I just hope I don't meet him. Okay, I'll tell the truth. Another reason I love Max is because of her red hair. Like I, I really like red hair if I, like if I don't have brown hair, I think I would pick red hair. So some other characters I like from the season, Robin. I like Robin. Robin is so sweet and she's so cool about everything. I'm going to talk about my some of my unpopular opinions. First of all, Mike. Mike is not that bad in this season, guys. Like I've I, I've seen some people complain about him and I can see why but I'm just here to say that it's not that bad guys like I've always liked Mike starting from the 
for a season because of how caring and kind he was to Eleven. And I think most people dislike Mike in this season because he doesn't really have anything that important to do with the main plot. In Volume 1, they're just driving, so... I don't think that is a reason to really dislike him in this in this season because he really did move the plot forward in volume 2 and like in the last moments even though it's brief and his monologue for his love for Eleven in the end was like actually pretty powerful for me other than that a lot of people like won like after we get to know Beckness backstory with like whole the whole Henry and one thing a lot of people like Vecna but I don't really like one he did suffer, but for Henry, like even though he might appear different, he did not have to kill his whole family for that. I don't, I don't think so. I'm not kill a lot of teenagers and stuff. Speaking of cruelness, that brings us to our last topic for the character section. Characters that I don't like. <laughs> Angela. <laughs> Out of all the bullies I've watched on screen, she's probably the worst. Umbridge level, you know. Like of course for these all these characters that I don't like like really full respect for the actors because it's the actors' terrific acting that made these characters so hateable. So yeah, but for the character of Angela, I really hate her so much, and I think that her facial expressions are just so mean. Also, Jason, Jason is so annoying. Like I want him to disappear. Like at first. At first, I did not find him disturb disturbing in any way because I understand how confused and sad he must have felt with his girlfriend's tragedy with Vecna, Chrissy. But as the season progresses and he just gets so much more annoying, like he just gets more annoying every single episode. Like he just starts interfering with our favorite characters and in the end, like with Lucas and stuff, like I just hate him so much and I want him to like disappear every time he appears on screen. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite moments from Stranger Things Season 4. First of all, the running up that hill scene, of course. Max running out of, like, Vecna's mindscape. It just shows so many things at once that is, like, worth noting. For example, like, Max's bravery, her good memories with her friends. It's really touching as well, even though I did not cry because I have a weird crying nervous system in my body. It's my own problem but another scene i like is the whole connection between the upside down and the real world through a rope when they figured out there was a gate underwater and some of the group was, was in the upside down and some of the group was interrogated by the police and they just figured out like how they can communicate with each other like first through like the lamp and then they're f finding the same house in the upside down and then like communicating through like morse code with the lights it was just so creative and like imaginative and the last scene i'm going to talk about is the very last scene of the whole show like with everyone reunited and standing on the field with like a lot of flowers and looking down at the world that vecna is destroying i think that scene of course the cinematography is just stunning it made me like actually see how big of a scale this is going to be with this open ending i can't wait for season five I hope you liked my Max drawing and I also hope that you liked my little cosplay of Max. This is probably a long video. So thank you so much for watching. If you're here till the end, like thank you so much. And bye!